Decisions are very important in life. You are where you are today because of the decisions that you made yesterday. You will be where you want to be because of the decisions that you make. You decided to click on this video consciously or unconsciously and you are here watching this video. Decisions are important and it is critical for you to know and be conscious of the decisions that you make if you want to become successful. On the podcast today, I want to share with you the four key decisions that I made that transformed my life and share with you a couple of tips and blueprints that you can Im implement in your own life so you can achieve your goals and ultimately become successful. One thing you must understand is that decisions can broadly be divided into two. We have what is called the subconscious decisions and conscious decision. The subconscious decisions are decisions that we make without necessarily thinking about them. And they come to us by default. One thing you must understand is that as you do something over and over again, it becomes ingrained in your memory and hence you will just do it naturally without necessarily taking the decision to do it. However, if you want to become successful, you cannot rely on subconscious decisions and run your life with that. You need to be conscious of the decisions that you make in life if you want to become successful. Let me know in the comment section what key decisions you have made as an individual and the outing of these decisions. Maybe it's a decision to take a course. Maybe it's a decision you made to marry. Maybe it's a decision you made to become wealthy. Maybe it's a decision you made to learn a trade. Maybe it's a decision you, make, you made to move to a different country or to a different city. How did you reach that decision and what has been the outcome of that decision? Share with us in the comment section, even before I get excited to share with you today on the podcast, the four key decisions that have actually transformed my life. Number one is the decision to be born again. This is where it all started, to be born again. Yes, my mom used to take us to church when I was young. We attended church, we attended fellowship, we attended prayer meetings and all that. But it was until high school that I gave my life to Christ and accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior as a, at a scripture union meeting. The reason why this decision was important to me was that it changed my perspective about life. It changed my perspective about how things are supposed to be done. But it was a funny thing that happened during that period. Because one, my nickname in high school was Didon. Didon. Now, the word Don had two meanings or has two meanings in the dictionary. The first meaning is a head or fellow of a university, Oxford or Cambridge, that is a professor of a university. The second definition of Don is leader of criminals. Now, for some reason, there was this gentleman those days in high school who was my senior and who preached all the time and he would be persecuting me and will be calling, oh, people have put certain names on them, not knowing the meaning of the name, and will be calling me leader of criminals. But I took the name the Don because I, I wanted to be, I don't, I don't know consciously, but then I wanted just to be the best of the best. And today, primarily what I do it's lecture. I teach people ACCA, ICA, GA, and other professional qualification courses. What am I doing? I'm living that ministry. But this guy did not understand. That was my experience. And so he happened also to be the SU president then. So I hated going to SU. Although I get invites to the SU, I'd rather go and study on my own than to go to the SU. But one day, Somebody invited me, and I couldn't resist it. I attended, and that was the day I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. And that was the decision that began to change everything 
in my life. And I thank God that Christ found me. I thank God that there, there, there was that transformation in my life. I thank God that the, that decision was made and I came to that realization that I need to do this. So the first decision is to be born again, to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior. And this decision came with a price. Because one thing you need to understand is that living for Christ and living for God is going to demand something from you. You have to separate yourself. You cannot be like other people. There are things you cannot do. There are places you cannot go. There are lifestyles that you cannot live. Why? Because you are a Christian. But the most important thing is if you make that decision and accept Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, that begins to change everything about life. To me, in my life, that was the first decision that I made consciously back in high school that changed everything.